So I just got the game teared down and decided to give it a try, and man was I pleasantly surprised. This game is super addicting and satisfying. Basically, the goal is to destroy walls and buildings in whatever creative ways you can think of using vehicles, explosives, and tools. The objective is to either perform a demolition of a certain structure or to perform a heist, and you have to think of creative ways to create the best and most efficient way to perform the heist in a timely manner, and oftentimes there is a time limit for you to accomplish your task. From ramming cars through walls, to using tools to sink someone's cabin on the dock, or using explosives to blow up someone's house, this game has many different ways to cause mayhem. Now, with all that said, let's get into it. My first mission was to destroy a house in order for a nearby mall to be able to expand, and this one was very simple and straightforward. After taking a minute to get a feel for my surroundings and the scope of what I'm supposed to do, I'm shown some propane tanks and I figure that I could use them to blow up all the edges of the lower level of the house, and after throwing the wrong way like a total fool, I get to work and every time I throw I see more and more of the structure gone and it's super satisfying. I throw this tank like an idiot and hit the fence in front of me almost killing myself, then I realize that my stack of propane tanks is empty and the house is still standing so I decided to try to bring the rest of the house down by sledgehammer only to find out that you can't demolish brick with a sledgehammer so that meant I needed to find more explosives and sure enough there was another pile of them not far away. I blast away the chimney only to realize that a set of rickety stairs was literally holding up the entire house. Then after some more hammering, I use an excavator to demolish the last little bit of it, getting it down to the minimum height requirement required to complete the job. My second mission was a heist that I was doing for a cop where I had to steal the computers of a corrupt company suspected of tax evasion. This one was also really straightforward. I bust down a door to get the first computer easy. The second computer was in an all brick building with bars over the windows, but all that required was hopping in this big truck and driving a massive hole through the wall to get the second computer. The third was a little tricky as it was in an awkward high spot that was not easy to get to, but with a little help from this old thing, I was able to get the third computer and be on my way. My next mission, I was sent back to the exact same place except this time things were much more complicated as I had to get the employee login devices and this time there was a security system that triggered whenever you took one of them, meaning I only had 60 seconds to run around the map, destroy all obstacles, get the other two, and then leave before security shows up. I tried it once not realizing exactly what would trigger the alarm only for it to trigger when I grabbed the first device off the wall causing me to panic and just decide to run back to the escape vehicle only to realize I can't use the escape vehicle unless the objective is completed. I try again, and this time I decide to just YOLO it and see if I can run and grab them and escape on time without needing to come up with some sort of elaborate plan in advance. But that went about as well as you would expect. I try again, and I wanted to see if there was a way to cut power to the facility disabling the alarms, but that did not appear to be the case. Or at least, if there is a way, I am not smart or patient enough to figure it out. I looked at my route from my previous failed attempt and saw that I could have entered each building much closer to the login device's location which would have saved me a lot of time, so that's what I did, and this time, thanks to this tiny hole in the wall that I created accidentally, I managed to complete the mission and escape with 7 seconds to spare. Now, as for a few final thoughts, is Teardown a game worth buying if you're somebody that's considering it but is a little unsure if they want to spend the money? Personally, I'd say yes, just because of how many different ways there are to entertain and amuse yourself in this game. It's really addicting and really satisfying, but that's just my personal opinion. I hope that this video can help you with your final thoughts a little bit more. I'm, before I give it any kind of a final rating, like how it ranks on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to need to play a little bit more of this first. This is just a small sample size, but... I think this game's a lot of fun, and I may very well be playing more of it in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe and hit that like button, and I will see you next time.